Canada's Drag Race. Night of a thousand Celines. It's the Snatch Game. Let's have a menage a trois. Unfortunately, Eliza couldn't make it. Ooh. Season one called, they wanted their camera back. Oh my God. Bad Jimbo, you're bad. Hey Miss Mojo fans, it is Sam here to recap Canada's Drag Race episode five, AKA the Snatch Game with guest host Mary Walsh and the Night of a Thousand Celine Dion's Runway. So I know more than a few people watching might not know these queens already, but what better way to get acquainted with them than a reading challenge. The Library of Canada is officially open. Oh my God. In the tradition of Paris is burning, a reading challenge in the Snatch Game, how lucky could we be Bless us, O Canada. Sorry, not rubbing it in. And I'm very grateful that we have this opportunity to do Drag Race, so finally a Canadian can win Drag Race. This was a great reading challenge. There were some amazing reads. Highlights for me must have been Rita Baga. She's always an amazing queen. No surprise here that she was able to read some bitches. Hold on five seconds. Okay. Okay, can we just embrace the fact that Alona wasn't complaining for five seconds, please? <laughs> Jimbo, she's been at the top of the competition since the beginning, especially with her humor, and she was just giving it to him, but kind of pulled back and gave that all too Canadian niceness at the end. You think you're all that in a bag of chips, but I'm getting more bag of garbage. <laughs> But I'm not, I actually think you're incredible. Oh, don't say that. I'm sorry, that's the worst. But of course, the star of the show was Lemon. She had a read on everyone that was so specific, so lovely, so perfect. Kiara, are you a bird? Because all your runways are cheap, 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 cheap. So already we know who our shady queens are, who our comedy queens are. Let's get into the Snatch Game. I am your host, Brooklyn Heights, living proof that if you bomb the show, they make you come back and host it. Joining us on the panel on Snatch Game is interior design duo Colin and Justin. Let's get to the contestants. First, we have Boa, bitch on arrival, as Gypsy Rose Blanchard, out of the headlines, into the Snatch Game. I didn't know much about this character. I was excited for Boa to give it to us. In the end, it was apparently not much. The judges criticized her for not really going there enough, and I'd have to agree. Just out of curiosity, how did you kill your mother? Well, she ate her. Look at this fat bitch. <laughs> Next up, we had Jimbo as Joan Rivers. Now this was perfect in every single friggin' way. Oh, and I also brought Edgar. I don't go anywhere without Edgar's ashes. Oh. You can tell Jimbo is a seasoned performer was giving us a great impression that has likely been done a couple times before. Oh, oh sprinkled on the answer. <laughs> Just one second. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Just a bit of ashes. Everything about this was spot on. I could go on for hours. I will stab you, bitch. Oh, Christ. I would love to be murdered beside this dumb bitch. Yo, what's up? Right next to Jimbo's Joan Rivers, we had Lemon as internet sensation Jojo Siwa. I'm so excited to live my truth. And what truth would that be? That I can't pronounce my Oz. I think we can all agree, Lemon brought that character. I think a lot of times queens will bring these internet personas and not bring enough of it. We did just see India Farah do a not so great Jeffree Star. So it was really great to see Lemon be able to bring it as an internet persona that maybe not everyone knows. I just wrote, maybe it's her hair that keeps falling out, uh, hell. <laughs> Next up, we had Priyanka as Miss Cleo, the TV psychic. We know she can improv, we know she's funny, but she just did not bring it here. You can see the wheels turning or not. And especially after seeing Alexis Mateo do a psychic so well in All Stars 5, seeing all the missed potential for gags here was a little painful. I hate to see it, Priyanka. Cracks in the armor showing. Well, cause you're psychic, I expected you would make a match with Colin. Mmm. Oops. Next up we had Rita Baga as legendary French singer Edith Piaf. Now Rita was great here. She slayed. She didn't need to give huge energy to convey her humor. What did you write down? So I just wrote down magic. <laughs> you know, just like these pills, it's so magical. <laughs> we were on the edges of our seat seeing what gag she would bring next. She was consistently hilarious. 
Rita Vega show and why she is a pro through and through. No, this will be my final act. Thank you. After Rita Baga, we had Scarlett Bobo, who did a last minute switch to Liza Minnelli on the advice of Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. Man, is it just me or is there no good way to do a walkthrough? Ask yourself, is this the time to take a risk? Is this the time to play it safe? Has everyone just been doing shady walkthroughs this season? There's gotta be a good way to, I don't know. Back to Scarlett Bobo. She had some good gags, she was pretty funny. You gotta hand it to her, she was killing that character. Maybe not at the top, but giving consistent jokes the whole time. I'd love to see you and JoJo in a fight. Oh God, well if she keeps it up, we're gonna have one, honey, because she needs a fucking riddle and I need a goddamn nap after I heard that one go off. It'd be one hell of a dance oh, battle. here she goes, here she goes. <laughs> after Scarlet Bobo, we had Kiara portraying Mariah Carey. Now Kiara has shown us before that she can give comedy and she can give acting, but unfortunately, Snatch Game was not her greatest. Mariah is not a huge personality like some of these others. Unfortunately, this was a bit of a miss on Kiara's part. It's called Honey, This is Christmas Baby. Oh gosh. It's called Honey, apostrophe, This is Christmas Baby. Oh yes, honey. After Kiara, we had Ilona Verley as porn star Rebecca Moore. I think this might be the first porn star we've had on Snatch Game. You can fact check me on that. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Alona was solid in this Snatch Game. She brought this character to life. She brought this character to the game. Alona slayed it. Could you do me a favor and spell out how you pronounce cock? Because I'm very curious to see what that looks like. Say, ock. <laughs> <laughs> so after the Snatch Game, we took it to the runway with guest host Mary Walsh of legendary Canadian comedy fame. If you've had CBC comedy playing in the last 20 years, you have had Mary Walsh on your TV. Have you ever tasted cod tongue? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak East Coast lesbian. <laughs> Helping us judge this snatch game, these snatched frames. Ooh, we're about to get to the runway. Category is Night of a Thousand Celines. We're going Celine Dion, y'all. Brooklyn probably getting PTSD flashbacks on the judges panel. By the way, Brooklyn looking amazing. I don't know how the hair did that angle, but the colors, the shapes, Brooklyn showing why she is the mwah. You can call her mother. You can call her Brooklyn Heights. Just don't call her Celine Dion. Ooh. Uh. So first up to the stage, we had Boa with her Met Gala 2019 Celine look. This one was lovely, it was gold, but she was a little drowned out in it. The judges made sure to let her know of that. Boa's snatch game was just all right, and this runway didn't really do anything for her there. Next to the stage, we had Scarlet Bobo with the Paris Fashion Week 2019 look. This, I thought, was a perfect representation of Celine's look. It was gorgeous, it was dripping. Mwah, Scarlet, you're great. You're gorgeous. Next to the stage, we had Kiara doing the Courage album release 2019 look. A lot of contemporary looks. There have been some reads over the cheapness of her looks, but I thought she looked gorgeous here. She just looked amazing, she looked fashion. Brooklyn didn't love her wig. But that's another story. Kiara, we love you, darling. Next to the stage, we had Rita Baga, who, being a Quebec queen, being one of the more seasoned queens, knows Celine Dion through and through, throws back to two iconic 1988 looks in a reveal. I thought this was great. There was a whole story to it. Rita Baga showing her perspective perfectly here, and there's just such a great level of taste there. Next up on the runway, we had Jimbo, giving us perhaps the most gag-worthy look of the night. Paris Fashion Week 2019, another contemporary look, another slayed, elevated drag look. Jimbo showing us why she's not just a comedy queen, but also one of the highest fashion queens here too. She was also giving me a little Gaga vibes, like I don't know, maybe it was the makeup, the glasses, I don't know. I can never say enough about Jimbo. Next to the stage was Lemon with an Academy Awards 1998 look. When Celine wore it, it was an elegant and simple look. Unfortunately, Lemon wasn't really able to shape it that well. I found she's had a bit of that problem in this competition where her outfits would benefit from a little more snatched waistline. Hopefully we can see that from Lemon going forward. Next to the stage, we had Alona Verley in Celine's look from the 2017 Celine Dion collection launch. Alona's got this very punk rock style that came through a lot here. She also rocked the super high heels. That's something the judges have been asking from her. Coming through, slaying it, but also showing herself. Next up to the stage, we had Priyanka with a double look. First, she had the wedding dress from 1994. 
then she revealed into the Billboard Music Awards look from 2016. I personally didn't see as much story in here as something like Rita Baga's, but she pulled out two great looks. That's all you can do when you bomb a Snatch Game. Hell, it's what Brooklyn Heights did when she bombed the Snatch Game. I f***ed up Snatch Game and it was terrible, and I know I'm getting red to filth for it, so I'm pulling out all the stops. Priyanka just going with the tried and tested method of just throwing it all on the runway. More on that later. Alona and Bobo are told they're safe. They go backstage to sleep. Tops and the bottoms are Rita, Jimbo, Lemon in the top. Bottom is Boa, Kiara, Priyanka. Judges give the critiques and then we find out that the winner of this week's Snatch Game and Runway is Jimbo. Congratulations. Yay! <laughs> With the amazing Joan Rivers and stunning runway. Jimbo, congratulations. First win of the season, well deserved, cementing Jimbo as a front runner. We also see Rita Baga is a pretty consistent front runner. Those two seem to be our top contenders so far. A couple others are making a play for the top four, but we're gonna have to see how it plays out. After that, Rita, Lemon, Boa, all safe, and the lip sync goes down between Kiara and Priyanka. Unfortunately, some stellar runways were not enough to get them out of the bottom from the snatch game, so it starts Kiara v Priyanka, I Drove All Night by Celine Dion, epic song, these two go at it. Kiara starts a little hotter, just goes for it right away. You know she's played this song a million times. Priyanka starting a little slower, but she had more peaks and valleys to her lip sync. I thought it was gonna be a double save. They kept cutting to the judges like it was gonna be a double save. I do think the moment that put it over the edge was when Kiara got rid of her heels. I didn't see a need for that, but she kept flipping. She kept splitting. Honestly, it was reminiscent of Brooklyn's episode where she and Evie both had a bit of a bomb on Snatch Game, but turned it out in the lip sync. Baby, I thought it was gonna be a similar situation here where they got both saved, but in the end, only one of them could stay on this episode, and the judges voted to keep Priyanka. Priyanka! Shantae, you stay. Oh, by the way, this one's a judge's vote. The three main judges vote every time. Does the guest host vote? I don't think so. That decision by committee is made to keep Priyanka. Unfortunately, Kiara goes home. Désolé, Kiara. Sorry, Kiara, mais c'est la vie. Kiki, wanna be on All Stars, okay? <laughs> so that is it for us. Be sure to let us know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. Who was your favorite Snatch Game? What was your favorite Runway? Who are your favorites to win this season? We wanna know it all. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell. So far, we have no concrete plans to cover Canada's Drag Race, but let us know in the comments if you'd like to see it. You can follow us on Instagram at Miss Watch Mojo. You can follow me on Instagram at TheBDZ or on Twitter at BDZ. Till next time, bye.